Okay, I am here with skeleton Olympian Katie Ulander. How's it going, Katie? Awesome. I love it. Katie has this amazing quality, which is obviously her hair, and we were just talking about a nickname for the hair. So what is the nickname? I don't know. You know what? I feel like maybe the public should help pick that one Ooh, out. Ooh, okay. You if know? you guys want to tweet at Katie, give her some ideas. Yeah, I mean, my, da or my dad played for the Big Red Machine, and my coach has been calling me Big Red. That, that's the only one I've gotten so far, but I'm, I'm totally open to see what, what you guys think. So Great. So speaking of your dad, this is a very special interview for me because Katie and I actually have a really special connection. Yeah. Our dads played together for the Minnesota Twins back in 1969, which is amazing. Oh. So how have you been thinking about your dad while you've been here? Oh my gosh. Uh, that race was, I'm probably going to start tearing up. I, I put everything I had into it and I felt like he was there with me, um, especially on the last run. I, I took my dad's ring off and I handed it to my coach because I felt like it was a moment where I know he would have said, be you, do it for yourself, and I'm there with you. So I kind of felt like he was watching me instead of like me trying to carry on his legacy like so hard in my heart. I was just there and things were happening and I knew he was there with me without even trying. So that's why I felt like I could let go of the ring. I gave it to my coach and I went down and I put everything I had into it and I totally thought I had it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought all that hard work and everything was like worth it, and then 400s. But Aww. dang it, <laughs> I, I'm walking away with my head held high. I like. You're here at the Olympics. I, I couldn't mean, it's have still done such anything. Cool thing. Yeah, exactly. Different and fourth at the Olympics. Like seriously, boohoo. The yeah. worst things could happen. Instead of saying fourth at the Olympics, I'd rather say fourth best in the world, which is still <laughs> an incredible way to look at yeah. it, right? Yeah. Oh, and, and I mean, I think it's what I tell kids and everyone anywhere. It's like you just have to put everything you have into something and then you can walk away proud. Yep. And I think that in itself will create more opportunities. Yeah. Any, something will happen because people will notice that you are for real about whatever you're doing. And that's what our dads are like, right? The yep. traditionalist generation when yep. they're just like, why do it if you're not going to do it right? You know, step up to the plate battle against the odds and try to hit the ball yeah and that's life right like you're always against the odds but if you have the courage to stand up and try anyway and know that you walked away putting everything into it that's that's what it's about great words of wisdom so speaking of more opportunities and on a positive note looking towards the future Katie is actually training for the Summer Olympics oh my gosh, so let's yeah. talk about that let's talk about Rio uh, Rio it's gonna be tough. I mean, the competition for the Summer Olympics is, is really hard and I'm kind of a rookie in this, this area, so. And tell us again what it is you're gonna be competing in. I'm gonna be doing Olympic weightlifting. Yeah. So it's the snatch and clean and jerk. Um, and I start training for that ASAP. I'll be doing national championships in Salt Lake City, July 17th, my birthday. Yay. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a hard journey, but uh, it's gonna be fun. How do you have to transition both mentally and physically from completely different sports? I mean. There's obviously weight differences, there's diet differences, there's, what, what is yeah. that like? Well, for this race, I tried really hard to gain weight, thinking the three uphill sections, it would benefit being heavier. Turns out, I think I would have been fine just like my normal weight, which is 63 kilos or like 130, 135, and, um, or 139. I know some of you are doing the math out there. And uh, <laughs> um, for weightlifting, I'm actually having to cut more. So I'll, I usually sit right around 62, 63 kilos, which is like 137, 139. And then um, I'm going to cut to be a 58, which is 128, 129. Yeah. Um, so I really like, I'm going to enjoy the two weeks here, eating whatever I want. And then as soon as I start training, it's, it's really strict dieting. Yeah. So there's been a lot of buzz about social media this year, especially a new app, which is Tinder. And we oh, hear that you've been funny. on Tinder a little bit. So what's been your experience <laughs> on Tinder at the Olympic Village? Tinder is creepy and fun all at the same time. It is, it's horrifying though. Like I get on there and I've had people walk up to me at the track and go, oh, you on Tinder? And I'm like, oh, God, they know. With a Russian accent? <laughs> yeah. And um, I've also like seen other athletes in the cafeteria. You start getting all paranoid, like they're staring at me. I think they saw me on there. I saw you or I'm not really sure and so it gets really awkward but at the same time it's fun you know you're just kind of like messing around and, and getting to know the people in the village and I know people are taking it to other levels but you know I still have yet to make contact with anyone on that, that game. <laughs> have you heard on uh, Twitter anything from any celebrities back home or like anybody that you'd want to really hear from? Um, celebrities? I don't know. I just have been getting a lot of really heart breaking 
or warming messages warming, yes. from everyone, which I really appreciate because I was really worried that I, I let everyone down when I crossed the finish line. Dang it, I can't stop crying. <laughs> well, there's no um, need to cry. You did not let us down in any respect. And separate from the interview, shout out to my dad Hi, and Charlie. Ted. Yeah. We're thinking of both of you guys in different contexts, and we wish you were here. Definitely.